I had a request the other day to make a video about how to cut with this laser. So I've had a lot of engraving videos recently, but sometimes you might want to cut with the laser also. That's why we made the dual laser, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to switch on the high power laser here, the three and a half watt laser or whatever high power you put on this thing. It could be your 15 watt, your 7.5 watt, whatever you have, we're going to use your high power laser, okay? So with your switch, switch that. If you just have the single high power laser, you don't need a switch, just turn it on. Currently my machine is, oh, it's not connected. Here we go, I'll connect mine. Okay, and I'll do a homing cycle. That way everything's zeroed out. So what I did with my acrylic here is it usually comes with uh, this brown protection paper on it. I pulled all that off. The laser has a hard time going through that paper. So make sure to pull that off. So what we're going to be doing is cutting through some black and cutting through some yellow today. So those are two colors that I know it cuts through. It will not cut through clear. Okay, The laser beam will go straight through the clear and not affect it at all. The lighter it is, the less the laser will actually pick it up and the harder time it will have of cutting it. Okay, so I'm gonna find a file that's good for lasering here, okay? So I just wanna cut out a simple shape. Here we go, this heart's a good one. I know it's hidden behind the camera view Actually, I'll pull the camera off for a second here. Okay. So here's the heart, right? So I just want to find that edge, right? So I'm going to vectorize it. It might find two edges, which I don't necessarily want. It looks like it just found one edge. Cool. Because I don't need, like, the thin outline. I'm not making a cookie cutter. I'm just trying to cut out this shape here. Okay. So you might have to adjust your contrast or black and white, whatever you need to do to find that edge, that single edge, and cut it. Okay, so there's the vectorized. I'm not going to do any filling. All right. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's set to filling. I don't see where we turn it on or off. <laughs> no filling. There we go. Okay. It's like no filling on there. There we go. All right. So now we just have this red line going around the edge here. Perfect. So now that we have an actual shape to cut, I can hit next. And to cut, we got to cut sort of slow. Like to get through eighth inch or three millimeter acrylic, I'm going to actually cut about 45 millimeters a minute. I think the person who requested this was talking about two millimeter. You can go significantly faster with two millimeter acrylic, but... I'm going to be cutting at 45 millimeters a minute, really slow, okay? I'm going to make this thing about two inches tall, about 50 millimeters, or it gets 50 millimeters wide. There we go. And because I'm cutting, I'm using M3 and not M4, right? Very important there. All right, cut it at 100%, also very important. Okay, I'm going to hit create. And here I have my shape, okay? So I'm going to do a perimeter run, make sure that it's where I like it. I guess I should turn the camera back on, huh? All right, so I'm going to run the perimeter again. Looks pretty good. This is going to take a little bit. So, I mean, once you got your where you want to cut it set, like from here, just hit play, right? It's going to take a while because 45 millimeters a minute is slow, okay? So yeah, you'll notice that I put down aluminum foil here and that's so I don't burn through my base and I also don't leave like crumbs and like these marks on my base. When you cut stuff, it actually vaporizes it and it'll leave marks below it. So if you want to keep your base clean, uh, put aluminum foil down because the laser won't cut the aluminum foil and... Yeah, your part can just sit right on it. It's nice and thin, so you can keep your focus. You don't have to refocus every time. 
I'm going to zoom in for you guys just a little bit here. There we go. You also have to make sure your focus is really nice. Another thing is, if you're doing this and like, like vertically it's cutting through, but horizontally it's not cutting through, you might have to, uh, you might have to use a different laser. <laughs> what happens with some of the high power uh, lasers is the diode, like, okay, so there's this little gap here, right? And as electrons flow across the gap, it releases photons, right? It releases the light. So to get more power, they'll widen that gap. And when you make that gap wider, it's harder to get it to a single little point. So that's why I prefer the three and a half watts because it's a lot of power without widening the gap. So you can still get a nice small beam and it'll, it'll come out circular, right? That beam will actually come out circular instead of rectangular. And you can cut both X and Y directions. Okay, it's about halfway through right now. So like I said, it takes a while to do this with the laser, but it does cut, and it cuts pretty clean too. I'll, I'll pop it out for you once it's done. The program estimates three minutes, and it says it's been running for two minutes, so it's got about a minute left here. It also smells like it's cutting acrylic. <laughs> There's a distinct acrylic smell. And if you're getting two millimeter black acrylic and using the one of these three and a half watt diodes, you want to go about, I don't know, 70 millimeters a minute or so, 60 to 70, somewhere around there. You can go a little bit faster. All right. And so I pick it up and then pop it out. And just like that. Oh, there we go. Pop it out the rest of the way. <laughs> We've got our little heart shape here. Kind of cool, huh? And there we go. Okay. So I guess we'll try the same thing with the yellow. The yellow doesn't absorb as much of the laser frequency. So I'm not completely sure it'll run. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit here. And I'm gonna make it smaller since I have a smaller piece of yellow. So file, re reload the last file. Keep that same shape. I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna go border speed 40 on this one, right? A little bit slower and height. I don't know, 20. Make this thing tiny so it'll fit on here. Hit create. And do a perimeter run. Cool, it'll fit there. I'm going to zoom in for you guys. There we go. That's a pretty good focus. Okay, I'll do another perimeter run here. Perfect. Okay, and here we go. So this one should take less than a minute. It's much smaller. We'll see if this one gets through. So yellow should be able to cut. Orange should be able to cut. Like I said earlier, clear won't be able to cut. White also won't be able to cut. So this diode is a blue laser, right? I can see with my eyes that it's blue. So it's within the spectrum that my eyes can pick up. Okay, if I were to put a piece of blue acrylic under here, well, if I look at blue acrylic under regular light, I see that it's absorbing all the colors, but blue. It's actually reflecting blue, so I can pick up blue with my eyes. Same thing with white. White reflects all the colors, okay? 
So with a blue diode laser, you cannot cut a clear acrylic. You can't cut white acrylic. You can't cut blue acrylic. You're going to have a hard time with green acrylic, right? So with a CO2 laser, though, at the frequency that CO2 lasers run, all acrylic is black, right? Like pitch black. It absorbs CO2 laser frequency really well. Acrylic does. So you can't cut everything with these diodes, but you can cut a lot of stuff. Anyways, looks like it's almost done. And there it goes. Cool. So let's check out our cut. And pops out. Nope. But it was almost through. So it looks like I have to slow it down just a little bit more here. Wow. I feel like if I push hard enough, I could pop that out. Okay, so let's try this one more time. So reload last file. We're going to hit next. And border speed of 30. Bring it down. Uh, let's go 30, 32. There we go. Okay, hit create. Now, if you're, if you're really curious how far it's getting, what you can do is cut half on, half off. That way the laser beam actually runs along the side and you can see how deep it's getting if you're really struggling with this. But I'm pretty confident that this will get through here. So here we go. I'm going to frame it. Looks good. Hit play. So it's going to cut it just a little bit slower here. I hear it. I hear it getting through. <laughs> sort of fizzling along the aluminum foil. Might be better if I had it raised up a little while cutting this. Or on an or on one of those aluminum honeycomb sheets. Maybe I'll order one of those sheets for this guy. Yeah, sounds like it's getting through. Smells like it's getting through. <laughs> Taking a little bit longer because we're running a little slower here. So acrylic's nice to cut because it's uh, it's predictable, right? So a lot of people want to cut wood, but inside wood there's like knots and thick parts it's it's a natural product and so it's not perfectly even while acrylic is almost perfectly even everywhere so if it cuts in one corner it's going to cut the same in the other corner with woods you're not always guaranteed the same thing <laughs> right it might be a little thicker or denser in certain parts so even though you figured out what a good cut speed is you might not get through all the water you might have like these bald spots in the wood where you don't get all the way through so I prefer acrylic when cutting stuff. Just about done here. All right. Let's see if that pops out. Oh, <laughs> it will pop out. That's funny. I uh, I moved the aluminum when I touched it. <laughs> But maybe it will. Oh. I split the thing in half, but. <laughs> there we go. That's funny. We got a little heart here. Yeah, so make sure not to move your part while you're lasering it. My bad. Anyways. Uh, yeah, if, if it doesn't cut through, you got to go slower. If it's cutting through... You might want to, like, go a little faster. Check the backside. Make sure you're not, like, overburning the backside. Because you got better things to do than wait for it to cut. So try to cut them as fast as you can. It also leaves a cleaner line the faster you cut it. Anyways, hope this answers your questions. Uh, thanks for watching.